with centers in both in Gaza and the West Bank. It is the biggest university in Palestine. The IOF occupied the institution and bombed the Gaza location in November. Let's take a moment for the martyrs of Al Quds Open University who could not who could not graduate this year due to the ongoing genocide and slaughter in Palestine. The University of Palestine was used to house displaced families due to the Israeli bombardment of Gaza. However, Israeli occupation forces mined it 300 times at the grounds in January. We now ask that everyone takes a moment of silence for the martyrs from the University of Palestine that were denied the opportunity to walk their stage and receive their hard-earned diplomas, our beloved martyrs. Established in 1991 during the first Intifada, it decreed a Palestinian national university to be established in which Al Azhar University was born. Let's take a moment for the martyrs of Al Azhar University who could not graduate this year due to the ongoing genocide and scholasticide in Palestine. The institution aims to serve its community by developing a sustainable socioeconomic future for Palestine. Usually home to 1,800 students, the grounds have been used to shelter Palestinians violently displaced from their homes due to the Israeli occupation and genocide. Let us take a moment of silence for our martyrs from Palestine Technical College, whose lives were taken before they were able to attend their own convocation at sciences. The institution set up entrepreneurs to be successful in the business world with the main campus in Gaza City. In January, Israeli occupation forces fired up the university while it housed displaced Palestinian families. Let's take a moment for the martyrs of the University College of Applied Sciences who could not graduate this year due to the ongoing genocide and scholasticide in Palestine. Also known as the Gaza Training Center, was home to aspiring photographers, videographers, musicians, and all other kinds of artists. In 2021, after yet another attack from Israel, the institution provided art therapy to children dealing with the inevitable trauma from the ongoing genocide. Occupation, ethnic cleansing, and scholasticide. The Israeli occupation forces destroyed the institution during the Holy Week of Easter. Let us take a moment of silence for our martyrs from Gaza Training Center, whose lives were taken before they were able to attend their own convocation. The university was home to 10 faculties, including law, education, computer sciences. The university promotes the goals of education, educational, cultural, social, and economic development of Palestinians. In December, Gaza University was destroyed by an Israeli airstrike. We now ask that everyone take a moment of silence for the martyrs from Gaza University that were unable to celebrate their years of hard work due to the genocide and scholasticide in Palestine. University of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. This university was founded by the King of Morocco in 1992. Many of Gaza's agricultural engineers have attended the institution. However, the institution was destroyed by Israeli occupation forces in December. Let's take a moment of silence for the martyrs of Hassan University who could not graduate this year due to the ongoing genocide and scholasticide in Palestine. University. Established in 1955, the institution is known for its history of training future educators. In 2022, over 26,000 students were enrolled. Now there are no classes taking place due to the destruction by the Israeli occupation forces. Many of the students, faculty, administration, and staff have been martyred, injured, or displaced. 
Let's take a moment of silence for the martyrs of Al-Aqsa University whose lives were taken before they were able to attend their own convocation. One has flowers. We have a certificate for every university in Gaza. Uh, if you'd just like to come and like lay them or lay them beside our banners for the martyrs and then we'll take a few minutes before introducing our next speaker. As we approach over 256 days since the genocide in Gaza has started, as we stand here to read out the latest stats of the human loss, damage, and oppression the terrorist Zionist entity has inflicted on our people, and as we stand here today to honor our murderers, Keep their memories alive. We must understand what a murder really means in the Palestinian context. We Palestinians have been persecuted and disc discriminated against in so many ways for over a century. Our people have been experiencing extreme injustice and subjugation for as long as this generation remembers. We have been screaming, crawling, and fighting for our right to live and our right for sovereignty for far too long. For Palestinians, martyrdom has been the only way to find final salvation in this cruel and unjust reality, even in death. Palestinians often don't find peace. The West and its allies has never had much of a taste for martyrdom. Perhaps it's because they have never had to fight off a foreign occupation for so long. Or perhaps because in their colonial and imperial pasts, they have been in the business of making murders rather than becoming murderers themselves. The West could never understand the resilience and the steadfastness of the Palestinian people. <laughs> Martyrdom in the Palestinian society is directly linked to the highest concepts of honor, madlinism, and moral superiority. The appropriate way for all of us here to honor our martyrs is beyond just showing up to these events. It is by creating a solid framework of educational 
an ideological conviction to what it really means to fight against the colonial and imperial states and its violence. Its violence towards the indigenous people from here, starting from here in Turtle Island, all the way to Palestine and across the world. What we are witnessing with the student intifada, which has taken place all around the globe, is the first ray of a dawn of a new era. The student movement is putting their imperial capitalist system in the West under stress, showing all its weak points, and preluding, showing all its weak points, and preluding a mass mobilization against Western governments, the bearers of corrupt values and double standards policies towards the situation in Palestine, and complicit, if not true, propulsive engines in the Zionist colonial project in the Palestinian Arab land. This unprecedented violence towards the student movement and the repressive fascist reaction on the part of the governments truly show the foundations of the entire Western imperial systems are starting to shake. The new generation has decided to break with the ancient colonial and racial regime of the 19th century. The time has come to overturn everything through a total revolution. Universities are the fulcrum of this revolution and the students are its true protagonists. Resistance. Resistance is rooted in the ideological conviction of one's quest to journey, to obtain freedom and justice. Resistance is an idea that transcends any individuals or factions and it cannot be killed. It cannot be silenced and it will never ever cease to exist. The fight for the liberation of Palestine will continue to take place regardless of who's murdered. The freedom fighters of the Palestinian people will continue to stand strong as they challenge the world's greatest powers. The world is bewildered by the greatness and the secret of the strength of the people of Gaza. There is no glory in suffering or pain, but there is great glory in sacrifice. Peace be upon the souls of our murderers, our innocent children and oppressed people. Peace be upon our great people as they expose the hypocritical world and its flawed laws, as they expose the one-eyed organizations, governments, and the world's double standards. It doesn't matter how much they try to silence the student movement. It doesn't matter how many more children, women, and men they kill. The erasure of the Palestinian identity and its people will never succeed. The people of Palestine and the people of Gaza in particular are not just numbers. Every single one of them had a story, dreams and aspirations to live up to. Every single one of them had a future. Every single one of them had a family and friends that loved them and are devastated they no, no longer exist in this world. We Palestinians deserve to exist. We Palestinians have the right to resist by any means necessary. Congratulations to the students of Gaza and the class of 2024. Your loss will not be in vain. We have a beautiful community here tonight, and we understand that a lot of our community members have also lost friends, family, loved ones. So if there's anyone here today that has lost someone, due to the genocide in Palestine. We invite you to come up and have a community moment and share whatever you would like to share uh, with the community. 
In the meantime as well, we have the tree and the banner where we are writing the names of our martyrs to remember them. They are not numbers, and we ask that when you do this, you do not simply copy what you see. You read the name. You understand the depth of what you are writing down. And in a few moments, my, my comrade will also have a few words for you. Thank you. All we have for this graduation ceremony, like Dr. Masri said, we don't want to sit here and tell you numbers or just dehumanize Palestinians, which is what is done so often in the media. Palestinians are not just numbers. Our Palestinian educators, our students, the universities, Palestinians, people in Gaza, they are not just numbers. And that is why we have these uh, these things to remember them, sorry, um, these demonstrations for you to come and see the names of the martyrs, of the educators in Gaza, our students in Gaza. Um, one thing I want to say is, is, again, being a Palestinian student, it's been very, very difficult. But this is not about me, and it's not about us. Our movement is always about Palestine and the people in Palestine. And the people in Palestine, with all respects to my amazing faculty, have taught me more than any school and any faculty member ever has about this world. And Palestinians are our educators. They are the people that teach us. And we will honor them. This whole world is a university for Palestinians and for those in Gaza. If no university remains standing in Gaza, this university will remain standing for those in Gaza. And standing here at Toronto Metropolitan University, a university that has denied disclosing their investments, that has denied telling students and faculty members where their money is going, shame on them! Shame on TMU for denying our information request to know where our funds are going. Their funds could be funding the genocide of our people and they are refusing to even disclose where our money is going. We have seen the student intifada rise up in the past few months and I want to make it clear, we are all the revolution. Every single one of us, you all have a role to play. And it is our duty, it is our moral duty to stand up with Palestinians in our places of worship, in our places of academia. Every single one of us has a duty to stand for Palestinians. This is their university, this is their world. If they don't get a university, this will be their university. Every single university in Canada will be theirs. Again, I also wanna echo one of my colleagues who said that this struggle is not just about Palestine. We must remember our brothers and our sisters in Sudan, in Congo, every single oppressed nation. It is our duty as students, it is our duty as educators, as faculty members to stand up for them because this institution and this education means absolutely nothing if we are not standing for the oppressed. So I want to encourage you all to remember the students and the educators of Gaza. They are your teachers. Look to them to learn. Do not look at this institution. Do not look at your faculty members. Palestinians in Gaza are your teachers. And we will continue to stand with them. We will continue to fight for them because that is our moral responsibility until Palestine is free, inshallah. Thank you all for joining us today. It is an honor to stand here with my amazing faculty for Palestine and students for justice in Palestine. We invite you to stay with us. We invite you to write the names of the Palestinian students on our banner that we've created from the class of 2024 in Gaza. We also have an olive tree where we are writing the names of educators,
faculty members, principals in Gaza who've been martyred since October. And like Nicole said, they are not just names, they are not just numbers, they are people and they are our teachers. Glory to our martyrs, every single one of them. Thank you.